what are the qualities that people most want from their leaders? According to a study done of employees of Fortune 500 companies a while ago, what they found was what people most want from their leaders is not how clever they are, is not uh, how good speakers they are, it's not uh, what their qualifications are. You know what people really wanted from their leaders and they said, you know, if our leaders don't have these two qualities, it doesn't matter what else they have, we don't care. <laughs> we don't think they're good leaders. What are these two qualities that people, employees, uh, want from their leaders and as citizens, what we want from our national leaders? Two things, honesty, integrity. Honesty, integrity. Two very simple things, isn't it? Honesty, be honest. Tell us the truth. Uh, don't be corrupt. Don't uh, steal stuff from us. Tell us the truth. Honesty. As children, we were one of the first things we were taught by our parents was to be honest, isn't it? No, that's not yours, Sanjay. You can't have that. That belongs to Rohan. That belongs to Pradeep. Yes, that's, we were taught honesty as, as children. We, might, we would have cried that as a two-year-old, as a three-year-old. But we learned honesty. We learned not to take something that is not ours. We learned to tell the truth. We learned uh, face up to our mistakes. We learned uh, if we make a mistake to own up to it and say, yes, I did it. Even if, you know, there's a punishment involved there. Honesty. Something we were taught in our school, something we were taught by our parents as well. Something that we expect from our leaders. Honesty. Number two, the second point is integrity. Integrity is a word that lots of people use, but not, not many people understand, including me. So I didn't know what the meaning of integrity was as well. I didn't really know it. So I went and, you know, looked at uh, definitions. And, you know, the problem with definitions most of the time is the definition is so long and so complex that we don't understand the definition either. So we need to look for a simple definition uh, for integrity. And I found one. And what this definition said was integrity is doing the right thing even when no one is watching. Ah, doing the right thing even when no one is watching. And that's integrity. And that's something we want from our leaders. We want honesty. We want integrity. Do the right thing. Even when I'm not watching you. Even when we don't see you. Do the right thing. Yeah, you take our politicians today. Lots of our politicians are extremely corrupt. Yeah, but they're not corrupt openly. Do the right thing even when no one is watching. As we go in for two presidential elections shortly. One in the US and one in uh, Sri Lanka as well. I was watching some of the speeches of the Democratic uh, Convention uh, recently and they were talking of, you know, good things. Uh, we want to build a better life for people. We want to, you know, lift people up. We want to help the middle class. We want to get rid of poverty. We want to, you know, have a better education. And that's great. I was thinking, okay, what about our leaders in, in, in our country? How many of them are actually talking about this? How many of them actually mean this? How many of them are willing to put the citizens of this country, and we live in such a beautiful country, the citizens of this country first before themselves. And I think it's high time. We need a leader like that now. Even if, even if this person has made mistakes in the past, I, I would like to challenge whoever the leader is. Even if you have made mistakes in the past, it doesn't matter. Let's start afresh. Give us hope. Give us hope so that we can actually come out of this. We want a leader who is honest and who has integrity. I'm sure you, Whoever is going to be our next leader, you can take this challenge. Show us a difference. As, as Malala famously said, it just takes one person to change the world. It just takes one person to change the world. So what do we want from our leaders? What do all people all over the world want from their leaders? Honesty and integrity. And I believe we can get a leader like that. We have to live in hope. We have to work towards this. We want a leader like that for our companies. We want a leader like that for our nation. Let's have a leader who has honesty and integrity. Of course, competence as well, right? We need a leader who is knowledgeable, who is smart, who can deliver. But we also need a leader who, first of all, is honest and has integrity. I hope you enjoy this video. Let's make the right choices. Let's get the best leaders possible. I think we deserve it, isn't it? We deserve it. We owe it to ourselves.